John Redwood attacked the rigid EU for not allowing policy to be changed and not being able to change the people who make the decisions. He said, I was voting to leave the EU, that means leaving. It means saying goodbye to all their legal controls, their financial obligations, their vexatious laws and their meddling with our policies. It means we think we can be a self-governing democracy that can make good decisions for ourselves. The great news in a democracy is you do not have to pass an exam to get a vote. Sometimes looking at the situation in Britain it is the people who have not passed exams who have the common sense and the vision to believe in our country and our democracy. Mr Redwood defended a no-deal policy and warned the EU that the UK is perfectly capable of thriving outside the Brussels bloc. The MP for Wokingham said, I take comfort from the fact the government assures me that nothing with the EU is agreed until everything is agreed. We are not yet on the hook for any of these things that have been offered by way of exit agreement. That is very important because a lot of us do not believe we owe the EU any money as we leave the European Union. A lot of us think we can do better making our own decisions on things like fishing, farming and borders. And the sooner we are able to do that the better. YouTube John Redwood defended Leave voters who he said are actually defending the UK in the end, we are going to have to make a judgment on the deal and we have pressed the government to assure us they are preparing for an exit with no deal. I think no deal is a very attractive proposition in its own right. No deal means we do not pay the EU any extra money after March 2019. It means we take full control of our farming policy, make our own laws, make our own migration policy and make our own decisions. That looks to me a pretty good package, it is what I voted for and we still want to leave even if no deal is agreed. My friends who are of Remain faith tell me the EU likes self-harm and therefore will not want to offer a tariff-free deal. I hope they do offer us a tariff-free deal, but the government should make it clear we will leave without one. The country's fishermen responded with fury after it was announced the UK will remain under the EU's common fisheries policy until 2020. Brexit Secretary David Davis announced the UK will become an independent coastal state and able to manage access to its own waters as of 2020. Mr. Redwood continued, The EU fishing policy has been disastrous for the UK fishing ground and for the UK industry. When we first joined the European Union we were a substantial net exporter of fish and we had one of the most productive fishing grounds in the world alongside the Norwegians. Then 45 years on we are a heavy net importer of fish and our fishing grounds are being considerably damaged by overfishing. One of the big reasons it has gone so wrong is that the fishing control system requires fishermen to throw back dead fish into the sea that does not meet quota requirements. The sooner we are an independent coastal state that better. The arch Brexiteer demanded an outline from Philip Hammond about how the Chancellor plans to spend the money the UK would otherwise have been sending to the EU. YouTube John Redwood pointed to a decimated fishing industry after 45 years in the EU Mr Redwood added, Everybody of any common sense agrees that we will get back a lot of money and it would be really handy to spend that on public services and tax cuts in our country. I wish the Chancellor would not keep the spending of the money a secret from me and the British public. I am desperate to hear how the government are going to spend the money, whether they are going to give it back to us as tax cuts or give it to public services. I suggest they do both. Forecasters constantly confronted me and wheeled out the Royal Bank, the IMF, the Treasury, the Pope and the President, and told me they were backed by this mighty empire of talent. They claimed it would be a winter recession of turmoil and trouble with a lower growth rate. I told them this was not true and I am still waiting for an apology.